Hello everybody. Today I will talk about shipping boy. And uh, destination. This one will be on the accounting test and we need to learn about shipping point and uh, destination. First, we need to draw the diagram. Let's see about seller and uh, buyer. About shipping point, this means that the truck is over there, but they pass the title in here. So that if you if they use a shipping point, seller and buyer will report together. Report at the same time so that that's it about the shipping boy but if this one are the final destination the title is not here anymore the title should be in here and uh, the, the delivery will go here until they reach the buyer point so that the title for the buyer will come here. And uh, this one will change to if they use destination, the seller report first. And uh, the, buy, the buyer will report until the truck come to here. This is the last one. So that this means uh, the truck is still on the transit. The buyer cannot report about this product until the truck reach the final location in here. So that the buyer can report the product from here. So I will give an example. For example, we have we have seller and we have buyer. There are two truck. This one uh, shipping point, and this one uh, destination. This one is five thousand. This one. 1000 so when we use the shipping boy the seller and buyer report together there's a buyer first this seller so because they because the seller buy 5,000 for the buyer, so that we have account receivable in here, and we have the product 5,000 and 5,000. Because product in the, the assets, they will reduce, then account receivable will go up. Or sometimes they will go to inventory too. The next one, that's see the buyer. Buyer will will in re inventory, and we have account payable five thousand and five thousand. So that that's it about the shipping point. The next one, that's the destination point. In here, the truck is on the transit. We only have the seller only. So that inventory. No, no, no. That's about a carry silver and uh, inventory.
it should be about 1,000. For example, the seller sell the router on July 1st. So that's on July 1st, only seller report about destination until on July 3rd, the buyer received 1,000 so that we can uh, report inventory, account pay for 1,000 and 1,000. The difference between the shipping boy and the destination boy in here, the shipping boy we just report at the same time together by and seller, the destination that we report different time, one is July 1st because the seller would re supply 1000 for the buyer and uh, after the truck reached about destination point of the buyer 1000 we report of the buyer in here so that everybody should learn how to do about shipping point and destination because they will be on the test thank you for watching